Well, there you I've go. I started to, to, I don't know. I just wanted to do that to a previous statement that was said off air. Uh, well, that's great for the listener to be able to hear. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to Backstage with the Civil Church Podcast. No. There you go. My name is Evan Samanko. It was very pretty. Oh, it was. You, yeah, you almost voice. said, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you are Scott Odom. As far as I know. And we have no guest today. <gasps> no. Because we are talking about Splash Kingdom. Splash oh, Kingdom I thought is because we overbooked. Oh, no. We've got lots of people lined up, Scott. We've had the mm. beginning series all summer. Yes. I've enjoyed talking to people about the beginning of the Simple Church and stuff that you probably didn't know behind the scenes. No, because I know nothing. It's a special episode because this Sunday, Scott, when they're listening to this yes. right now, right now, we are getting ready to go to Splash Kingdom Water Park. Splash Kingdom. Used to be. Used to be Watertown, the beach within reach. And we are going as our annual Simple Church outing <laughs> for Just picture three. us all with little picnic baskets. Annual Simple Church outing. That's right. Like daycares show up. Simple mm. Church just shows up, uh, gets out of the buses and get out of the buses. Go over. So we take over the entire water park. Yeah, we do. And we open yeah. it up for free for everybody in the community. No hoops. You don't have to show your Simple Church member with your secret tattoo. Uh, that would be awesome if we did have hoops. Uh, <laughs> literal hoops to jump through. Literally just Scott Miller staying there with hula hoops <laughs> as people jump. <laughs> Shout out to Scott They have Miller, to do like right. tuck and roll and go through. <laughs> tuck and roll. <laughs> go and spring up like <laughs> acrobats. Uh, anyway, so we are opening up Splash Kingdom Water Park this Sunday. If you've been before, it's a little different. We actually did this in the early days of Simple Church. Yes. We were, we're in the evening. In the evening. So starting. Evening. At 4 o'clock this four Sunday, o'clock. July 11th. Why did we stop doing it in the evening? Doing in the evening, evening? evening? I think it was really behind the scenes backstage. Yeah. There became a trade show that was every August. That's right. And on a Sunday morning, yeah, they so took over needed, the entire yep. building. And so when we... HR. It was the HR Hardware Show. Uh, H&R Hardware Show. Easy Sorry. for you to say. Sorry. <laughs> HR Puff and stuff is what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Puff the Mansion Dragon. There you go. So anyway. Anyway, so we would go and need uh, something to do on a morning. So instead of taking the evening, we would do it on a Sunday morning. Yes. And in fact, for those of you really old school listeners, the last time we did it in the evening, evening, a severe thunderstorm hit. Yes. Right as we were, <laughs> I was standing on the slide and lightning struck like close by and they were like, Everybody out. <laughs> and we're shutting her down. That was probably like 2014, 15. That was kind of scary. Yeah, I was skinnier then. I could ride the slide. It's a different ride time. anymore. Oh. Anyway. But you can ride the slides, listener. Anybody yes. that wants to come, invite your friends, your neighbors. Starting at 4 p.m., we have fireworks. We are doing fireworks this year, Scott. Professional now, fireworks. You volunteered. I did. I wanted to shoot off a bottle rocket after every time somebody got baptized. Just a little... <laughs> So we're not just talking about your grandma's fireworks. We're having no. a real professional like firework the rockets red glare. What is that? That's a quote from um I almost said a Bible <laughs> verse, but No, I know no. this. <laughs> I know what this is the song, but what is a rocket's red glare fire? Rockets red glare. Boom. That's if you like at sporting events at NASCAR, that's generally when they shoot the fireworks, as yeah. they say, with the rockets red glare, then boom. The something everywhere <laughs> gave proof <laughs> to the night that the flag was still there. There you go. So there will be I can't a prof- believe I can't remember that song. <laughs> firework artist. <laughs> firework artist. Yes. Wow. Someone who does this. He paints the sky with mm, fireworks. That's right. But those will start, I believe, when the park closes at nine o'clock. Yes. And so you will be able to come. You'll be able to do it for fireworks from nine to nine oh five. But the park will shut down at 9 o'clock. You'll be able to go and watch with your family and have a great old time yes. Sunday, July. And, and speaking of the park closing, just to let everyone know so you don't get there early, they will be shutting the park down before we arrive. So there's really no point in getting there early because then you're just going to be standing in the sun for no reason. So you can get in line to get yeah. in at 4 when the door's open. But if you yeah. want to get there right at 4, you'll have about five hours. Of yeah, play. you're going to have plenty of time. So really, we appreciate those early people. But you just, why would you stand in line in the heat when you can't get in till four? Some That's just people want to be first, Scott. I get that. That's right. And they will have concessions. They'll have all the stuff yes. open for snacks and food. And you'll be able to do that and eat dinner out there and make it a good old time. Scott, it's, it's not cheap. 
No, it's yeah. not. If it's Especially that, if you have a family. A family of four, I think it's like $200 to go. Wow. And so you can get passes and discount stuff. But it is a blessing we want to be able to give as a gift. I know some people can't travel, can't get on vacation for whatever reason. This is something you can do the beach within reach. Yeah, Watertown, USA. That's right. So you and me have been, I think, to every Splash Kingdom. I'm pretty sure there wasn't one before I started. Man, that's miserable. And you moved and maybe missed one or two at the beginning? No, I'm, well, no, no, no. I was okay. back by the time. No, because in the very beginning, we weren't at the Splash Kingdom. Right. I want to say we started about 2012. Yeah, no, I don't think I've missed a single one because I always pull the trailer. So here's my thing about Splash Kingdom, Scott. This may be not the most ringing endorsement, but I just can't, I cannot undo this. Unsee it. So when you go to a, spa, a water park, you see people. Yes. You see a lot of people. Yes. And so my parents came early on and helped us set up and doing something. My dad came up with the game of count how many people do not have a tattoo. Mm. It's a low number, Scott. Well, I have a tattoo. So you I do? Know. You're in that? Jordan, do you have a tattoo? Yep. Jordan, our producer over there? Yep. Jordan's tattooed. Yeah. I, I f- and in fact, speaking of people scantily or or <laughs> scantily clad, I mean, it's a water park. They're not yeah. doing it in tank. There just- is, there was a certain uh, staff member. Slash volunteer. She is, uh, I won't mention her by name, but she was riding the slide, the big, you know, yellow oh, slide, yeah. a dare by Justin, and lost her trunks on the way down. Oh. Very embarrassing for Makes her. it awkward for everyone. Yep. <laughs> Hilarious for... It is. For, it's just water park. Oh, park. gosh. Justin, your pastor, gets fired up about daring people. He gets stuff. fired up about anything. That's true. But in all seriousness, it is a cool event because we do baptism. And so as a simple church, we've been able to baptize over 3,000 people since we got started. I'm not sure the exact number. Yeah, I figured it would be more than that. It's a lot of people, Scott. And we, we baptize hundreds every time. Yeah. In the so wave pool. The biggest baptism we ever had was Splash Kingdom. I think we baptized like 495 people in one night. Yep. And so it was a pretty cool moment of going to get baptized, doing it in the wave pool. Take that, Satan. <laughs> I want them to turn the wave pool on one year. Thank you. So do everybody, I. And everybody that goes under, you're just like, bam, baptized. And bam, and baptized. You're baptized. And <laughs> Wait for the wave. Baptized. Wait for the wave. We are joking. But in all seriousness, it is a cool spiritual moment that if you have interest in getting baptized, you've never been baptized, rededicate your life, there'll be a pastor in the wave pool. The Children watch. can be baptized. They do baptize. They ask that you are a certain age. We don't baptize babies or infants, but you go and as you get older, fourth, fifth grade typically is when they do that gospel presentation. Yes. Mm, listen to you, the age of That's pastoral. Right. Well, Gospel I'm trying to help people that want to actually get baptized. If you guys are scared them off, they're going to junk them in the well, wave no, pool. No, I'm not going to scare anybody off. Mm. How would I, Jonathan Scott Odom, scare anyone off? Exactly. <laughs> Silence. That's, I didn't have any comment for that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but baptism is an important spiritual milestone. It's Just something that they can bit. do to go and show symbolically that they're washing away their old life. Mm. You've been listening for a while. Maybe you have a family member, somebody does it. We would love for you to get baptized. It's a cool way to do it in a group like this. Make that memory. And your whole family can come out, can support, check it out. And then if you want us to ground and swim, you can. Some people just come yep. for baptism and leave. If you want to just come for fireworks. It's open to you. Mm, it's right. a free and open. That's right. And Much like also America. We're going to do some fun stuff. They're talking about doing the wiffle ball tournament again we did a couple oh, years yeah. ago. Yeah, I was the announcer for that. That's right. Cornhole tournament we did a couple years ago. Cornhole tournament? You don't remember that? We said cornhole. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I just think cornhole's gotten out of control, personally. Well, let's dive into that, Scott. You now have pay, like sponsored competitions for real money for cornhole. It's it's on ESPN. It's it, the Ocho. It, yeah, it's like a little much. No, not the Ocho. ESPN, yeah. the main one with COVID, I know for yeah, sure. Yeah, no, it just seems like a little much. It's just cornhole. It's people want to compete. It's what guys. college kids play when they're being Col- unwise. College kids. <laughs> and we're going to pay people now to play. You could literally have an occupation of professional Cornhole player. That just seems like too much to me. I'm sorry. There you go. That's my opinion. Hot takes. If you're a professional cornhole player, come on the podcast. We would love to interview you. No. <laughs> Absolutely. If somebody is listening that knows a professional cornhole player, I want to talk to them. I will refuse to. <laughs> That's fine. We'll do it without you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't mean to insult anyone that is a professional, po- or professional podcast. Scott does not represent professional the views of the yeah. church. Anything he says is not liable. <laughs> <laughs> But I just think it's a little much, personally. I just like you're going to pick fights with the cornholers. Yeah. Well, they could probably take me. 
They probably could. They definitely could throw a beanbag at you. <laughs> oh, hey. So we'll have fun things out there. The concessions will be open if you want to enjoy the park. The Lazy River. Lazy River. Some people, Scott, wouldn't come within 10 miles of a water park, and that's okay. But for some I know families, some of those people. you do. I know them too. But for some How families, it is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Mallory. <laughs> Mallory has Let's lots be of honest. Things. That's right. My wife, Mallory, yeah, she, not a fan of the germs. She queen. wouldn't, yeah, that is a huge anxiety thing for her. But she has taken them to toddler time yes. before. It's a little different environment. It gets there. You toddler time. Oh, goodness. They're cute. They even have a pet day the last day that they're open. Splash Kingdom does that, Splash right? Splash Kingdom has a pet day Hopefully where they you can take back. your pets. Yeah. They drain the park the next day. Yeah, so they, it's, it's free and open. It's cool. If you've never been, it's kind of cool because little doggies play around. And, Doggos. You're yeah, taking you, your cats? Uh, yeah, I'm taking my cats this year. We're going to put them on the slides. They'd love that. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Walk around on a leash. Oh, gosh. So that is Splash Kingdom Water Park. They do a great job. We partner with them. It's really cool, too. We've built a relationship with them over the years. And seeing those lifeguards, we've actually had some of the employees get baptized yes, while we've we been have. out there. is really cool. And trying to help them. And it's a big day for them because we pack it out most of the time. Yeah, and in fact, one time I thought uh, somebody was drowning because the lifeguard jumped into the pool. And I thought, oh, no, somebody went down. No, he's just wanting to get baptized. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. And so we appreciate Splash Kingdom and all they do, making it open. Something here within town for folks to go do fun. It is the Beach Within Reach. Mallory, actually, you know, I don't know if you know this or not, she grew up and her mom would buy a season pass every year and she would go and read a book or have something and let Mallory and her two brothers just be at the park all day. She said it was like they entertained themselves, they left her alone, they grew up running the streets of Splash Kingdom. Well, but I mean, that's a perfect, because you're safe, you're in a fenced in area. If you do happen to have a problem with the water, there's a lifeguard right there. So the parents don't even have to be notified. They resuscitate you. You go back on. <laughs> go to the next slide. <laughs> Nobody ever knows. Mally actually died three different times. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Resuscitate you. <laughs> you like that? I do. That's great. Oh, man. No one dies at the Splash Kingdom and the Simple Church. We've never had anybody pass away. Oh, well, Scott's making a face. No, no, no. Oh, I'm kidding. That's right. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of that, it is this Sunday, July 11th. Don't miss it. Invite your friends, whoever wants to go. It's open to the community. They don't have to go to Simple Church. If there's somebody nope. that you know that wants to come, pack it out. It'll be a good time. Come and support is, them. Yeah, and it is always packed out. And stick around for fireworks. Yeah, and plus, too, if you didn't want to have dinner in the park, Jane's River Restaurant, right across the street, get you some fried fish. There you go. There's a Wendy's up the road. So you yeah. can leave, but you cannot re-enter the park, but you mm. can leave, get dinner, and then come back for the fireworks if you want and watch yes. in the parking lot there. Which is me... And bottle rockets. Pew. Just you, you've talked about this. You, I really want to get you some bottle rockets. I am an American. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do it in your Randy Savage costume. That woo. That'd be hot. Man, that would be hot. That's right. So come check it out. If you want more information, download the Simple Church app. You can check out our website. If you have any questions, you call the office 318-752-2320. Don't want to put your cell phone out there. Yeah, I will. It's 318. What's your cell phone number? <laughs> <laughs> but you can come and check out Splash Kingdom starting at 4 o'clock this Sunday night, July 11th. Lord We'd love you to do that. If you want to get baptized, to sign up ahead of time, let us know. We get you a special T-shirt. Justin will walk through and do a meeting with everybody getting baptized yeah. beforehand, and you'll get special information. So I'll put a link in the show notes, and you can also just go and let us know you're interested in making that decision to follow Christ, go public with your baptism. And it is really, honestly, it's a fun time families come out it's completely free absolutely a couple hundred dollar value sessions yeah family of four it's like 150 bucks yeah and yeah of course obviously we don't pay for the concessions but we do pay for everything else yes so. if you see scott just find him and he will buy you anything you want no i will not that's right come by and see scott at splash kingdom nope <laughs> <laughs> i will be there i would get some dipping dots they still have dipping dots i don't i don't understand dipping dots uh, well i mean it's, ice it's just ice cream of the future oh my gosh it's ice cream they put in liquid nitrogen which is cool. It's actually cold. Hey, <laughs> I don't think we're going to go anywhere but down say, from there. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even say it without laughing. We would love to see you at Splash Kingdom. Come say hi, come play some games, hang out, and enjoy the beach within reach. Yep. Have a great rest of your day. We hope to see you Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye.